So my name is Patty Jo Holland. I do go by PJ. I got my license in 2018, but didn't really start originating until January 2019. I found Sales Remastered when I just started Googling mentor coaching. There's got to be a sales script for originating loans. And I found that on Google, which led me to YouTube. And, and this was probably back in October, November, 2018, when I was first trying to figure out who to give my rose to, so to speak, in regards to the brokerage that I was going to. So I found it, I started watching all the free content that was there on YouTube. And then in December, the beginning of December, he had a live coaching that he was doing on a Saturday. And it was like a two or three hour live event. And I decided to take the time. This is the career I was going to do. I needed to get serious about it. And I watched his live seminar that he had probably a class of 40 or 50 and he streamed it live. And at the very end of it, there was a call to action of, you know, if you're serious about this. And I was like, I'm in, I need somebody to tell me because the place where I did decide to go to really didn't have any structure in regards to how to get me to the next level. There were guidelines and procedures on how to do your sales and input them into Encompass or whatever operating system I was actually doing at that time, but there was nobody really to guide me as to here's how you set up your calls. Here's how to follow up. Here's not to fall into the traps that every other LO in the business does. When I was actually looking at other content online as to who to use to mentor me, who to use to follow. I knew coming into this as a new baby LO that I wanted to be different from everyone else. I didn't want to be cookie cutter. There were so many people that were in LinkedIn and people that were hitting me up. You know, if I registered at a different site that would say, hey, we'll coach you. But it was the same old, same old, like people have been there and done that. And I wanted to separate myself and Daniel's voice shooting straight from the hip, doesn't matter if he drops an F-bomb or anything like that. It was just raw and it was my voice that I was hearing. So once I got enrolled and I was utilizing Daniel's bootcamp program, it had a bunch of objectives that I needed to overcome and they were there listed step by step like, okay, so if you have someone call and they're rate shopping you, here's how to overcome it. If you had somebody and all they wanted was you know, what's your interest rate? What's your best offer? It was really how to redirect the conversation and taking control of that conversation and leading it down the path. So even though I've been in sales for over 20 years, it was very interesting to see how his brain and his philosophy was really more of sales philosophy and the psychology 101 of how to get inside your customer's brain. And that's really what I took from this was like how to take my years of sales experience and then understanding my client customer who was now my buyer and how to get them and to spin it as if it was their idea in the first place to contact me, <laughs> come to me and actually just close that deal. So for new loan officers that are coming into this business, I do direct them to Daniel's website. The reason why I do it is things have changed. We can't do things the way we used to do four years ago, five years ago, 10 years ago, which a lot of the loan officers that will probably be in your office, they've been there a long time, but it's not the way to do business today. Today, it's consumer centric. It's not about the realtor. It's not about your title company. It's not even about you. It's about your customer. And so doing the boot camp tells you how to make everything all about the customer. I didn't want to be like everybody else. You have to stand out. So I needed somebody to teach me that's done it, tried and true, number one in their business, number one team in, you know, probably top three, top five companies in the mortgage lending, just to kind of throw out numbers for you. My first year was 2019. In 2019, I closed over six and a half million. Mind you, I am a purchaser LO, so I'm an outside sales rep. I don't have leads that are fed to me. I have to go out and I have to find it myself. So even as new as I am, and I will give away my age, I am in my 40 something, you know, late 40s, second career, <laughs> uh, to come into this business and do over six figures the first year is quite an accomplishment. The second year I blew it out of the water. I did 
over 16 million. And a lot of this I do owe to the Sales Remastered Bootcamp. I owe a lot to Daniel instilling me my foundation of how to speak to a customer. Because if you get that foundation right, it just starts to roll off your tongue. It's natural. It doesn't sound canned. I know that's scary for a lot of people is you don't want to sound so, hey, you know, this is my, you know, that's my script. No, it starts to flow. And then when you understand the art of the sale and the architecture of why Daniel says the things he does and teaches it, when you start to understand it, you'll add your own personality and you'll expand on that. So as a purchasing officer, I did 2020, almost 16 million. So 10 million more than I did in 2019. It can't go, but up from here. So that's why you do it. So hurry up, act now, sign up. So this is a shout out to Daniel Nykart, the man, the top fellow. He's who I want to be like. I want to build a team just like him. If it weren't for you, Daniel, I don't know where I'd be. I'm actually really scared. I don't believe I would be making almost 20 million plus this year if it weren't for you. And I've only been in the business for two and a half years. So that's money, honey. And I'm a purchase loan officer and none of my leads are fed to me. So thank you so much, Dee.